In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a super simple but super powerful AI agent that not only has long-term memory, but it can add to its memory bank. And you can use it for so many things. You can use it for frequently asked questions. You can use it to train it on everything about you. There's so, so many uses. But let me first show you how it works and then we're going to build the whole agent from scratch. Okay, so we're going to use Airtable and I have, at the moment, I have three things about me in my Airtable. So I've given it my name, uh, I like hiking and the beach, and I have a dog named Willow. So I can start the chat here and I can say, hey there. And it's just going to answer me. It's going to say hello. And it, it actually looked into Airtable. It got my name and it said, hey, Monica, how is your day going? And the next thing I'm going to say is, what do you know about, about me? And it's going to go and look into the database again. And it will say, let me actually put my glasses so I can read better. I know that you enjoy hiking and spending time at the beach. You also have a dog named Willow. And then it's gonna say, because it is on always looking into adding more into its database. And that it says, if there's anything else you'd like to share, or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm gonna say, um, I also like traveling and, um, experiencing new places and cultures. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to take this information and put it into my Airtable. So it says, got it, I've added that, uh, I've added that you enjoy traveling and experiencing new places and cultures. Do you have any favorite destinations or travel experience you'd like to share? So not only, it is adding, as you can see, it just added it. Monica likes traveling and experiencing new places and cultures, but it is continuing the conversation so it can add even more. And I can say, um, uh, um, I'd like to, whoops, sorry. Uh, I'd like to go on a African safari and to Antarctica. All right, so it will go and actually add that as well. And uh, as you can see, you can continue this conversation as long as you want, because now it says both places of her, uh, sorry, it says, that's amazing, I've added that, and then continues, do you have any specific things you'd like to see or do there? But let's, let's have a look at the, um, yeah, in the database, uh, it's got, I like to go to Antarctica and I'd like to go on an African safari. All right, so now let's start building from scratch. Uh, I'm going to start with a uh, chat message, but uh, don't forget that you can actually use this with anything. You can use it with Telegram, you can use it with Slack, you can have your trigger as anything else, even as a voice agent. And I'm not going to make my chat publicly available. I am just going to go back to my canvas. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add our Airtable. And I'm going to add my Airtable. And what we want is to search records because we already have some records. So once you start building, make sure you create a super simple uh, database in Airtable and with just one field. So my air table is called NAN agent memory database. My table is called memory database and my field is called database. I just try to do things super, super simple. So it's not overwhelming. Okay. And we're going to look at the record. So we're not looking at the base. We're going to select the record. Then we're going to select the operation as search because we want to search those records and then uh, make sure that the base is from list. 
you can click in here i'll just say an eight n and it will show it to me straight away which is this one and then i'm going to look at my table which is the memory database the only other thing we need to map out is whether or not to return all records or to give it a limit. So if you have 20, 30, 50 records, you can absolutely leave it as return all. But the more records you have, the harder it might be for the agent to look through everything. So it's entirely up to you. And we're going to go back to the canvas. The next thing we want to do is to actually grab all the search records and aggregate them into one single output. So we're gonna go and look for the aggregate node. And uh, what we need is we do want to aggregate individual fields and the input name is the actual field name of our database, of our Airtable database. <clears throat> so in this uh, circumstance, my name is called database. So I'm going to give it the name database. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is if you look in here, we want to combine our chat with our agent with our Airtable search. So we kind of need to merge everything into one. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for a merge node, which is this one here. And um, I will do uh, combine and then all possible combinations. That's all we need to do with our merge. And we are going to, uh, actually, sorry, we are going to give the number one input from the chat and the second input from the search. Okay, so now that we have the first part of our agent ready, let's test it and make sure that it passes everything with green ticks. So I'm just going to say chat and I'm going to say, hey there. And I just want to make sure, now I'm not interested in anything that is coming in now because it's just looking through the records. I want to make sure that I've got the green tick and now it's time to add our agent. So we're gonna go to advanced AI and we're going to select AI agent. And our agent is a tools agent. It's connected to the chat trigger node and it's automatically selecting because we're using a chat from uh, N8N, it automatically knows what to use, which is the chat input. Next, we want to give it a system prompt. So we want to tell the system what we want it to do. And we're going to do this with the expression. So instead of fix, we're going to click here at expression. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste the whole prompt. So basically we want our agent to know the time and date. So in time and date, we'll put just dollar sign and now in curly brackets. And this is the variable and it will, exa it will know exactly what is the time and date today. So then we're going to say you are a helpful assistant with the abilities to read and add memories from a memory database about the user. To add new data into the memory database, use the memory, uh, use the memory database, which will allow you to add all new, all the new data and insights to help you customize your responses, your response output better. It is not necessary to, already, to always use the memory database in your responses, but whenever you see an opportunity to use the memories to enrich or add value to your responses, make sure you're using the memory stored in the memory database. Uh, additionally, anytime you need to learn more about the user, make sure to ask as many questions as possible. Uh, this is how, when I showed you in the very beginning, this is how it kept asking me relevant questions based on what I said I wanted to add to the memory database. And then I'm going to say, read your memory database here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let me show you what I did. So basically I grabbed this here and I added it here, 
but because I did, I want to use the whole database. Do you see how each memory here is stored with a number? I basically deleted that number. So that way it is looking through the whole database. And then I said, always use conversational outputs whenever possible. If you need to respond with a list, make it, make, make it, should be, make it as simple as possible for the user to read. And then I said, this is just me prompting how I want my agent to interact with me. And I said, use a positive and friendly tone of voice, like you're talking to a friend. And that's all. Then we're going to go back to the canvas. And the first thing is we need to select our chat model. Uh, I'm going to go with OpenAI. If you like Anthropic Beta or Gemini or any of the others here, you can use them. Uh, all I'm going to say is uh, basically select my model, go back to the canvas. The next thing we want to do is give it a memory and I'm going to click here and choose the window buffering memory. And in here, you can decide how many previous messages do you want it to remember? So you can leave it. The default is five. You can increase it. You can decrease it entirely up to you. And the last thing we want to do is add our database again, our Airtable database. And I'm going to click in here and search for Airtable tool. Uh, in When you're adding a tool, it's not going to give you all the options that we saw in the beginning when we added the Airtable as in update records, create records, search records, or any of that. It is just um, it's taking it as a tool and we have to tell it what to do. So first we have to map out our database again, make sure you are choosing the same database and the same memory, uh, the same memory table. And then what we need to do is tell it what to do with all the information that is getting. So basically I'm going to click this and make it an expression. And we're going to put two squiggly brackets and the dollar sign from AI. And then we're going to put brackets and in quotation marks, we're going to say add new memory. Make sure that you put the underscore in here as well. And then we're going to close the brackets and another curly braces because this will tell it to grab whatever we just told it. Like when it asked me questions, when I said some new stuff about me, it actually used this uh, formula and added it to my Airtable database. And this is it. So I'm going to uh, save it and I'm going to test it. So let's start our chat and I'll say, hey there. And as you can see, it's going through my agent. It's looking through everything and it says, Hey, Monica, how is it going? And I'll say, um, do you know, um, uh, where I want to travel to? Let's see if it will pick up Antarctica and the African safari and says, yes, you have mentioned wanting to go to an African safari and also to Antarctica. Those sound like incredible adventures. Are there any other places you're thinking about traveling to? So I can continue this conversation again, like I showed you in the beginning, but it, because it will always ask me some more questions in order to add more to the database. So go ahead and create one for yourself. As I said, this is probably the easiest agent you can create. And if you want all my blueprints and everything else, make sure you come and join my school community, which is down in the description.